when you come into our shop, you look down to your right and there is a rack of four planes here. And uh, when we'd have students come in, we'd say, hey, grab a four plane on your way by. Because this is one of the most basic tools that you will use if you work with boards. Uh, so let's go over to the bench and take a look at the four plane. Uh, a lot of people think of these as a jack plane, jack plane, four plane, it's kind of interchangeable. Um, we call it the four plane, it's the plane you use before anything else. And these were uh, typically about 16 to 18 inches long. Um, this is a factory produced one, so these are from you know the mid 1800s on, you have them all with very similar form. There's a strike button up here for adjusting, the, it's a double iron plane, the wedge for holding the iron. And so what this tool is meant to do is remove a lot of stock fast. And so as we're looking at setting up a workshop, we've gone through benches and stumps and things like that. Uh, we wanted to start with the four plane as the most basic of tools for the shop. And another example of this tool that I want to show you is uh, this one that I use. It looks kind of like a modified coffin body smoothing plane. It's uh, sort of a German tradition. You might think of it as a scrub plane, except this one does have an iron that's as wide as a four plane. It's about a two inch wide iron. And you can see the camber on this iron in this plane. Is, it's quite a camber to it. There's quite a curve there. It takes deep bites into the wood and really can remove a lot quickly. Um, but both these tools are intended for the same purpose, which is a lot of stock removal. So. If you're starting with a board that's rough, you need to thickness it. You need to uh, remove a quarter of an inch across the whole surface of the board. These are the tools that you would go to. So if I'm using a four plane, right, we're just putting the board against the stop and we start taking passes. You can see very quickly how we're removing all the rough surface uh, the milling marks and everything else. And we keep it down pretty quick. Now, to adjust these planes, um, you, you just use a hammer. We have taken to just using a claw hammer. It's very simple. Uh, to deepen the cut, you tap the iron and then tap the wedge. To back the cut up, you can tap the strike button. And what this does is it shocks the body down. So I hit this shocks this down but inertia holds the iron in place so it actually backs as the body shocks down the iron I say backs it actually stays put while the body moves down around it so that backs the iron and you always want to tap the wedge in between adjustments so this is basically I think where I left it uh, when I started adjusting so As you take passes, you might decide to go deeper or finer. But as you can see, you can take a lot of material off with these tools. I'm gonna grab this board here. It's a much wider one and it also has a big ugly knot right in the middle. So the grain of this board is going in all different directions, right? Knots are usually either like mountaintops or valleys with the grain. So all the grain is either running away from it or running up into it. <clears throat> so one of the reasons I like this shorter plane is that it can kind of ride valleys and ridges a little bit better. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily follow the straight line of the four plane because this definitely needs a nice even board. You see how it skipped that part because that's a low area and it kind of rode over it. Whereas this plane, since it's got a shorter sole, it will usually cut right through all that. So if you're looking to remove a lot of material quickly, uh, these two tools do a great job. And I will say, um, while I'm thinking of it, that we have another video on our YouTube channel. I think it's called, What is a Four Plane? And it gets into kind of the, the historic background of the name of a four plane. Uh, and some more information about that. So that's a good reference to check out. Um, but as you're removing stock, you know, as I said, around knots, you tend to tear out. But if you're thicknessing material down, you basically are just looking to blow through all that as fast as possible. So, um, and these things can handle that pretty well. 
then of course, sometimes it packs your iron right up. And another thing that uh, you we often see with um, period furniture are traversing marks. So here I've just rigged up a, a little board down in our, our um, little removable section here so that I can traverse or plane cross grain, which is a way to um, really flatten a board across its width. And very often, very often we see on secondary surfaces that a board is traversed and then those marks are just left. It's never taken any further than that. But you can see how the four plane, it will do a better job at flattening, but it, it takes a while to get down there because it's hitting here and here. So if you want to be removing a lot of material quickly, you want to set it a little deeper so that you can kind of bridge all those surfaces. And then, of course, nobody likes planing knots, but sometimes you just have to do it. So, uh, once you've done a solid day or two of that, say you're planing all the floorboards for your shop, or you're planing some big bench top boards down, uh, you'll really get the hang of what the grain is doing around knots. And then if this is gonna be a finished surface, you can take it to the next level with a different set of planes. But uh, the four plane, the jack plane, the scrub plane, are all extremely basic tools for the workshop. And uh, if you're gonna work with boards, you should grab one. <laughs>